Hello, buddy. Welcome back. I'm the Strategy Professor. All right, let's go ahead and get back in here. And I think we need to buy one more uh, Lord Hero here. Gray Shaman. Okay. My I'm going to hire that from him. And I hope this stacks Unsated Bloodthirst. Now, I'm not sure if this does or not. But I think I want to give this to our homie. Death Magic is good. I still think Beast might be a little bit better. Certainly earlier on at destroying, you know, Empire. But as you get to later on, it's possible this is better for this, um, the leadership break. And then you also have Sp uh, Fate of Buna, which would be very good against, like, Elite Halberds or Elite cavalry like really problematic units um so let's go with this but i think just the 10 percent extra for minotaur strength is gonna be good okay yeah spirit leech is also helpful for taking down war it's pretty cost efficient and then i went ahead and i bought I'm going to head and bought an extra Minotaur while I'm here, and then that'll give him four. Should be a pretty good little start. And he just gets so many bonuses for them. They're clearly incredibly powerful. So that should put him in a good spot. No! Not likely. Should be fine. They're probably going to take this down. I don't think I built anything here. Uh, actually, I did, but it's probably fine. Okay, and then can't do any more Tarox. I don't know that we need the uh, Gorbel with Tarox. He already has the one thing. I don't think he has this though, which is still really, really good. So we might need to get one of these on him eventually. But the wizard's kind of first order of business. And then I thought, since I'm already stopping to hire uh, a Minotaur, or to hire two Minotaurs, that I might as well go ahead and grab another one. But that's questionable. I don't know. It's like 400-something Dread. And we still have a discount for a few turns on Giants and Spawn. And I probably should be buying a little bit more of those. Here, we're just chilling. I think we have enough to beat Work Bad. You know, it's we, we could get the Jabber Slide or whatever, take a couple of turns off, but I think we just keep going until we run into trouble, and then we get the Jabber Slide. Okay, so I think that's all good. Um, we just burned this. We're going into Hidden in Camp. I think we just go over this way a little bit more. Savage. Okay. And yeah, this is probably strong enough. And then I guess we come down here and like burn this and then come back and just grab all that, maybe. We've already done that ritual. make sure we buy anything okay we are getting tier five i don't think we need that i mean it's cute but i might never use it in battle i mean the extra 10 percent is nice but it's like basically you have to get fifty thousand, you know money off of burns to or post battle loot that does not include most of our money, which comes from burning towns. Okay, so I think that's all good. Don't need to make any... We're getting a couple of extra buildings with him while we're here. I don't think we have any extra room for Manticores. Malagor's fine. Morgor's good. Yeah, that's the new guy. Quick deals. Playing 
I mean, they're about dead. I don't know where they are. What would they that, pay us for this? The great horned rat favors Mimi. That's Together we see. Now, now! Alright. And then her gig. Still got that going on. Do we want to build anything here? I don't think we need it. It would help if we run into. I mean, how is this? I will not obey. Not likely. Would help out a little bit, I suppose. Absolutely not. I mean, we're so rich. Oh, we're yes, just get it. Now, the vision is quite good, but. I still like the plague more. It's like starting the enemy off with bigger problems is a big deal. probably pretty accurate as to I mean maybe I could have won it maybe I could have done a bit more damage but I, I, it doesn't matter we've already done the ritual I think being able to do the ritual on the same turn is kind of OP I think it should be like other buildings where if they creep up on you you're hard punished if they get into range you can't do it in one turn just like dismantling a building you have to do it beforehand Ooh, a faction emerges <laughs> Like we talked about earlier, there's probably a rebellion. Um, oh no, we lost Norn. Okay. We haven't really used the chariots that much. It's like, they're okay. Um, we just haven't had a discount on them. Good, that's another thing we can burn. Whoa, they got it at tier 2? I guess my little building was tier two, but it seems a little odd. Absolutely Midland, where did not. Midland come back? Oh, is Le Leon Core is gonna come over here no, and take this out? I am the liar. Y'all are doing me favors by taking, <laughs> by killing this stuff and giving me more burns. Um. Okay. So, I think we come down here first. We don't go for this yet. That's a little greedy. No. Oh, okay, hold up. Gosh. Well, we can't hit him yet. To be honest, I kind of want to burn this first so that I get extra points for killing this army. I eat with the first. Oh, I can pop out and kill him if I really want to. Cease. Is he dashed? He's channeling. There's a chance he might spot me. It's 90%. So. Now, if he takes that out, that's going to be annoying. Because that's this would be worth impossible. two if I kill this. But if I kill that, that's worth eight. So maybe I do have to just go ahead and clean him out to protect my burn on this and the money I would get off of that. Okay. Let's just go ahead and light him up. Okay, so no ambush, I guess? Alright, Tarox is kind of injured, so we gotta keep an eye on that. Put that on. It doesn't matter, just something else is gonna front line. These are kind of dangerous. These are a joke. Right, why do they have so many of them? Like, what? Oh, 
Oh, they gave these slowing attacks, so they buffed them, I think, right? Plus bite. Relatively inconsequential, but they have a lot more HP, too, but they have less physical resist, right? Yeah, 55. They used to be 75 physical resist with, like, 4,000 HP. This gives flaming, but not magical attacks. Is this... Yeah, we might have to use, like, Trader Ken or something. I mean, it's gonna matter that much. The... Okay, this has... Jabber Scythe has magical attacks, so we want the Jabber Scythe on them. Oh, and then his, like, AoE stuff is magic, too. And we still have the good items on him. Okay, I don't think it should be that big of a deal. I do want to recruit another Jabber Scythe. Man, that thing is so weird. Like, it's got wings, but doesn't fly. It's like a tease. I know people were calling for that for a long time. They're like, where's the Jabber Scythe? Where's the Jabber Scythe? You know, all these, like, lore. I mean, it's cool. Like, I, I'd probably love it if I did read more of the lore. Um, but sometimes people get, like, in my opinion, a little too hardcore about some of that stuff. It's like, dude, I get it. There's always ways you could optimize or do things better. Be appreciative. Like, this is a cool game. They've done a lot. Yet, are there problems? Sure. Is there stuff they can do better? Sure. I mean, like, you still critique it, but some people just get too. In my opinion, just their expectations are a little unrealistic. Um, I guess entitled is necessarily a fair word, but. Just frontline that, and I guess just. Oh, let's make these their own category. Oh, we want that thing. We want Jabber Slide in the Ghosts, and we want the Big Big Daddy in the. Uh... Beastman! Uh, in the goat, or in the um, Crypt Horrors channel. I like how they took off Gamble. Really? Whatever, it's fine. Fast. Oh, okay. Close enough in tactical usage. I don't see a lot of other content creators like using the. Uh, Hotkeys. I mean, I don't watch a ton, but it's really odd to me. Cause I'm not even like that hardcore. Like when the multiplayer came out, I think the highest rank I got was like 250 or something.
You don't want it. He's like, hell! Fight off us! Oh, they get to run? What? I thought they literally all just evaporated. I mean, that's probably good for us. Because that means I can kill them. I don't understand how Undead gets to run. Profane blessings, I think. I don't know what we're gonna get with that, but hopefully it's cool. Generation. Resurrects. Okay. And then this one is Rampage. 60% speed. Non character unit. And 20% charge bonus. Huh. Okay. Filth is. That's pretty good. And 15% physical resist. Now we don't want to. Now, does Horrible Regeneration... What does this guy have? Does that stack with normal? I thought this dude had Regeneration. Okay, no, I'm thinking of this thing has Regeneration. Strength from Flesh. I don't know if that stacks, but I want to put that Horrible Regeneration on the Jabber side, probably. And the Movement Speed thing... They can go Berserk, though. I don't know if I want that on anybody. <laughs> that one's kind of kind of iffy. Okay, so we've got that. Um, did yeah, we've already cashed that in. Still have three turns on this. All right, one more turn on those. heroes in an army. Who gets that? Embedded for lords and heroes. I mean, that is pretty good. How many? We have one, two, three. 
We can just put. We could just put these two dudes over here in that. Is it win a battle with it? Win a battle with four heroes in an army. Okay. Or wait, we got one here. Okay, yeah, we can just drop one of these dudes over here. Throw this dude in there, throw that dude in there, boom, want it. Okay. I maybe should have coordinated something like that earlier. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I guess that's what we're going to do. So let's start with that. I suppose... Now, the one thing with raiding up there is I didn't get to upgrade the, um, my tier 5 building. Twenty percent. That's probably worth it at this point. Like, we've got, I don't know if I need apocalyptic vision. I mean, I guess that's cool. It's like a free thing. We've also got this for the extra ambush. Heroes in your army gain more experience. Yeah. I guess we can go with that. Oh, and then more gore. Gray Scream seems okay. Um, this is just one unit though, right? It does last for a long time. Minus 30 armor. Did, these things don't even have any armor, do they? No, that'd be a pretty good bargain on them, actually. Because you can't go into negative armor, I'm pretty sure. But is it worth the magic, though? I mean, you're gonna... It's 40 extra melee attack. 17, though? You do 50% more damage. I mean, that's a lot. They're going to hit every time, and they're going to be hitting for, like, a zillion damage. But I'm still not entirely sure it's better. Like, being able to summon two Cygors, for example, just, like, when we're on a siege, just right behind that little infantry line. This also does AoE damage. Increased damage. 66 to 133. I wish these tooltips were accurate. Okay, there we go. For how many? For 12 seconds. That's basically an expensive flock of doom. What else? It lowers speed. It says it's good versus a character. It's weak versus multiple combatants. It's probably better just to use the wind. Okay, so maybe we just go Saigor then. Okay, and then this dude. Natural thirst. Okay. Okay, and then let's do. Do not take me for a fool. Oh, that re How did that respawn there? Oh, that's what they took out? Did Carl burn I don't remember. Yeah, I guess things. he got injured. I can't even remember. So he just liberated them. Okay. Alright, so let's... Let's make sure we have enough movement here. Oh yeah, we did. Really? Okay, continue siege. Oh, did we put a uh, banner on dude yet? I don't think we've done that. The movement speed banner. Definitely want to do that. Uh, 
I mean, if they hit me right now, I'm still gonna have backup. Like, I've still got enough juice to beat them, I think. We've got like 16 units. But if they come at me with like 320 stacks right now out of the fog, I could be lost. Alright. Okay, so we win this, then we do that technology. God, my hair is just. I had my wife cut my hair, and usually she does a fantastic job. It's just a little short um, this time, so it's like kind of splits. That's the secret. You got to go for the um, 70s haircut because it can hide your widow's peak. If you got a little receding hairline there, it's, it's the modern day comb over. Free tips. TSP there. Usually I've been shaving my beard too. It's got a little salt and pepper in it. I don't know. Like, I don't think it matters that much. A lot of people like a touch of gray, you know? Um, they're eating most of this junk. It's like, who cares? They're dead. I guess we can just put that in with the normal. But if that is something that you work with, if you have the, you know, if you want to go for that. That's a style that I would recommend that I think is can work. People tend to think that you're pretty chill too if you have like that vibe. I know it's not like super in fashion right now but you just come off as a more chill person. That's my experience at least. Maybe it's something else about my vibe that seems chill. But uh... Alright, where's my real wizard? I guess I don't have a real wizard with him. But that is something where if my hair gets too short, then then I can't like fully move it all the way over, and it starts like parting in the middle. Basically, my wife hates the middle part. I don't know why. She was just she was lied to by the boy bands of the nineties or something. In sync, uh, broke her heart too many times. I don't know. It's. Uh, giant on there. Yeah, my, like, setup here is kind of jank. I don't think it's gonna matter. Are those cannons? We got cannons? I guess so, yeah. I mean, it's a bit later in the game, so they're probably gonna have those cannons. Yeah. I guess we might as well come over here and try to knock this out. We might as well just climb the walls there.
So he's just like hanging out in the corner. I guess he's trying to kill some of these. Close fight, close fight. <clears throat> Man, those pigs went in there and I wasn't sure. I'm like, should I run these pigs just straight up into these spears and halberds? And he's like, yeah. I think are I thought they're considered large. Maybe they're not. If they're not considered large, that's actually pretty sweet. If they're like wolves, I don't remember if they are or aren't. I was almost positive they were considered large though, like cavalry. here I don't think and then we've that one's pretty good and how close are we we're very close two more summons and we get that or one more summon Seems pretty good. Okay. Just do that. I mean, Savage Dominion. Maybe I do that. We're going to get more uses of that, too. Greater Arcane Conduit. We need five points. This is quite good, too. I mean, Flock of Doom is good, but... Maybe okay, let's go ahead and grab that, and then this dude... Okay, Vanguard, Trabestigor stuff. Herd, okay, I like that, and Harpies. Harpies cause fear. That seems pretty good. Um, chariots get terror. Or replenishment. I think our replenishment's already really high. Maybe alpha beast. Okay, this is our new guy. Let's go Doom and Darkness. I need to make sure I send him all to down here. Shoba. Okay. And then 
I probably still need to get a grenade and I guess I can summon one of those right here. Since we're getting a little bit more. Dang it, that is gonna eat into my freebies though. It's like not as valuable, but still like the 15 melee attack, I just can't get from anywhere else, so Wargore would also be, like they're nice, but I don't know if they're as necessary now they're gonna have 15% I think, it's Guardian is for Lords and Heroes I believe, right? Yes, so they're gonna have 15% physical resist, which is quite good uh, Gorbel's more important, though, so we need to do that, like, for sure right here. Ha. Uh, unsated Bloodthirst. That's what we're already gonna have that with our dude, I think, right? Okay, so we've already got that covered, but that's fine. The um, leadership penalty is actually quite good, too. We could get this building, but we don't necessarily need that right now. Okay. okay so we want to get moving after this. We're going to need some replacements. Probably. But... Okay, where are we going next? Grinstot, probably. Once we do this handoff. Looks like he has a lot of movement speed or something. Okay, we've got blessed by evil, fuel, all that stuff. Um, now we need to this thing also we need to upgrade that. Yay, extra control. I mean, there's already enough systems, like, it doesn't matter, I don't think, like, some of the other stuff. Which other buildings do we get in? Probably one of those. I think we still have a pretty good chunk of pigs. We don't have chariots yet. Maybe someday. I think this is probably fine. We, we don't have any extra synagogues either. Those are like... I was kind of thinking at the beginning of the campaign maybe we could use more of those, but... I don't know. They just get outshined by other stuff, I feel like. Okay. I think this is fine. And then what are we hiring here? Just two of those things, and then okay, maybe we'll go with that. God, it's so good that you can hire all this. Like, there's one, I think Slanesh, it was like. You could only hire two units per turn. There was almost nothing else you could do. 
to like get extra access. Now, okay, I was about to say, we need more units. I mean, we might as well, because we're going to be handing off a couple of these. So we might as well grab one more core herd. I mean, really, we should be putting all the core herd on him, because he gets bonuses for him, but... Probably fine. Okay, so we got the war gore. That's going, he's building stuff. Maligor, what are we doing with him? Could just grab a couple more units. Uh, I think, is this part of the... Is this not part of our zone right now? Oh, they've reoccupied Wiesenberg too. They haven't built anything there yet, though. This Absolutely is back. Not. So I guess we just come back over this here. Action does not have my consent. Okay. I guess we just run back this way. I think. Tarox is gonna come down and kill Grinstadt, I think. And then he can go down here and we'll send him south, because he should be quite good against green skins and dwarves with all those minotaurs. They don't have, like, any anti-large, hardly. They have, like, slayers with dwarves, but we can deal with that. And then, if he's going that way, we could send Maligor this way to clean this up. And then we could send the main guy over here to kill the vampires. Um... Are these going to be good against vampires? Giants are very good against vampires. And we could hire a couple more giants if we really needed to. Okay, but yeah, I think sending Malagor to the left is probably good. Uh, I thought it just told it. Oh, those are with shields. Um, okay, we don't need a lot here. Like, this is already pretty strong. Could throw a pig in there, but Do we need it though. I think we're already murdering everybody. I'll just throw two more of those in there. Okay. And then this guy has already moved. That's good. Um, drone's basically done. Dunzo. Shadow Legion. Where do we see that? Okay, he's way over there. I think it's probably still right to um Oh no 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 yeah he can move down more. I don't know why it was saying he couldn't. It's odd. Okay, I don't know if that's worth or not. Alright, Tarox. No. Okay, so he's got his axes. on him, Banner of Rage, sure. No. And Zeller. Okay. We're gonna need an additional army at some point as well, <laughs> like just keep getting more armies every time we can. Ha! 
a trade agreement. about the corruption that's like a super old school dilemma I think back in the day I think I said this in a previous episode I don't remember I'm pretty sure corruption used to give you like bonuses to leadership or something like it, it had some kind of benefit so it looks kind of troll right now but what are these things doing are they gonna like I'll ignore that okay they're probably gonna try to come up here and kill this I'll ignore right, that. Whatever. I don't know how they handle the public order with all this corruption up here. But they just find a way. Okay. So we'll start with this dude. God, he gets so much magic just for raiding. Okay, and then I think we just kick it off with Castle Artois here. Now, how valuable is that? Probably not super valuable. But it's just the most central location, I think, so we should probably go for it. I even want this on anybody. <laughs> I mean, the extra 60% speed is pretty nice, but Rampage is really debilitating. I mean, I guess you could put it on something that's just, like, gonna sit, you know? Like, one of the main thing. If it gave, like, may I think Rampage should give some benefit. Maybe, right? Like, some extra melee attack, or, like, maybe extra weapon damage. If something's Rampaging, it, it does, like, 5 or 10% more weapon damage. Those pigs are legit, though. Look. 
Take so long to kill these things. Pigs getting your pigs along. <laughs> These men might be the I don't know if they're the strongest facts, but they're they are up there. They play well, I feel like. There's just so many buffs, and so many of these units are just really strong. A lot of these monsters. Even those pigs, like those are legit. And it's kind of fun because you, like a lot of armies are pretty diverse. Like this is probably one of the least diverse ones because I have like seven spawn in it, but <clears throat> you know, a lot of them you're having to kind of use different units. It's not just stack twenty dragons. Of course, I guess a lot of factions these days, at least the ones that I play, aren't really like that. If you play like high ult or something, I guess if you get that high, but like getting dragons takes a while. Okay, so we're herd stoning. So we'll do that next time. Okay, we definitely want that. Some guns I don't think we care about. You know, that Bray Scream is pretty good. For a wind spell. I think when they nerf Devolve, they put the, uh... Bray Scream. They buff that, so that they're trying to give it something else that's helpful.
Okay. Got that. Maybe I should have bought this. It, if I want to, or maybe I should have just invested in this so I could get the Jabber Slides on my main guy. Gorgon just takes three turns is too many. Why, why was I not able to finish this? This turn. I don't know. Okay. All right, so we're handing off our stuff. No. It's gonna, I don't think it's gonna let me hit it. Or I just spend another turn just what can I recruit from the town? Just this. We can put this with our main guy though. I guess we could get a pig and just more spears. Let's go right here. No. Okay. That. That. Get everybody up. It's a hole of filth. Things of Shatterstone. It would be nice to have somewhere to just run the dogs or pigs in, just to run in and flank. Yes. We should be getting a lot more money here soon, anyways, but that will be handy. And then so this guy goes in here. You come for our mule. Please, Dude also goes in here. Oh, we st I forgot we still have one of these. Okay, so we could put this in here, too. <laughs> give him another one. I guess we can give Kosrick, uh the Saigor. We don't, we just don't have that many business units. the mask of madness i think we don't need that anymore on like this squad so i think we can give that back to him probably um we can still have the banner like these banners are fine i think that and we don't 
particularly need to summon the Cyghors, I don't think. Because that army just feels like really, really strong. So we can take that off of him. Give him like a power stone. It's under ancillaries, yeah. Banner Madness. Manage Thrall. Okay. Oh, some of those aren't equipped, though. I don't think it's going to matter, but alright, so... And with Tarox, so many of these things. Maybe I can. I mean, four should be fine to slot. Like, you don't need that many. I think we can afford to give him one. Because we just don't have another. Like, the Cygor is kind of a business unit that can just murder everybody, but. I think I just want to give him this. Let him have one Minotaur. He does have bonuses, like, four Minotaurs, too. Okay. And then we've got... Oh, this is not going to be able to get there in time. But I, I think we can win without it. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to get... I mean, I kind of want to get another war gore or whatever for each army, but... Balthazar. No! Yeah. Alright, 103. Okay, we'll have to do this next time. Um, that on him... that on hand. Okay, so we'll start off with this. We should be able to win this. That's interesting. They do have some dwarves helping them out with the garrison. So, we'll kill this with the other, um, the spawn guy. We'll keep messing with Bretonia. This guy is probably um, just gonna head southeast, I think. Or southwest, rather, after we kill this. Maybe kill Wiesenberg again. And then maybe take the town and the mountains and then take everything around there. And then we'll have Tarox go southeast. And then we'll have Malagor maybe flip back around and go northeast. And that's maybe how we'll do it. And then we'll eventually get another army at some point and branch off again. But I think we're making pretty good progress. All of our people are obviously very strong. We're probably going to run into something crazy at some point that's going to give us a challenge. Um, we're probably going to avoid the Wood Elves because... We can beat them, but their towns are pretty difficult. As we saw with the very first battle, you know, when they start throwing up those barriers and it makes it difficult to shut down their archers, it can be a problem. Um, but, anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time.